In our national lead, a big announcement from one of the country's largest retailers, Walmart, a company caught in the middle of the president's trade war with China. Today, Walmart said it will raise prices, not saying on exactly which products, but executives did blame the tariffs imposed by President Trump on Chinese goods. And we're hearing story after story of suffering in middle America from the tariffs, including one man who tells CNN's Miguel Marquez that these tariffs could put him out of business. Maybe I could sell you a car. Steve Gates sells cars. Nine dealerships, three states, nearly 700 employees, his family closing deals for three generations. I would love to grow. I would love to, I would love to add rooftops and, and people. I'm, I'm too scared right now. Scared because the president's trade fight with China and the world taking a bite out of the automotive industry, slowing sales, crimping growth, creating uncertainty. It just seems so unfair. I mean, I work so hard every day and for the uh, uh, for for politicians to dictate to me the uh, what my future is, it just seems it just seems wrong. Nationwide, a firm that tracks job losses found that this year nearly 20,000 jobs in the automotive sector gone with the threat of an additional 25 percent tariff on finished products hanging out there. Many more jobs on the line. The U.S. auto industry hit by tariffs and price increases for over a year now, first due to steel and aluminum tariffs in March 2018, then tariffs on Chinese-made car parts in July and again in September last year. Then last week, even higher tariffs imposed again on Chinese auto parts, among other materials. Here in Kentucky, it's not just car production and sales feeling the tariff pinch. Nobody wins in a trade war. Uh, there's only consequences and casualties, and right now we're collateral damage. Since 1999, Kentucky has seen exponential growth in global exports of its most famous beverage, bourbon. Not anymore. The EU and countries like China fighting back, aiming their own tariffs directly at the home state of Trump loyalist and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. I am not a fan of tariffs. We just got numbers today uh, for the first quarter of this year, and they're down 10% uh, American whiskey and 20% to the EU just in the first quarter. 20%. Mm -hmm. That hurts. I think. That hurts. Now, there are some winners here, Jake. Uh, there are s aluminum smelters in Kentucky. They've added some capacity and some jobs. But the question for Kentuckians who are the auto industry or the bourbon industry is all the paint they're suffering right now worth the gain?